Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer PVM edition. And last episode, we got ourselves the Inferno Cave featuring Rune Throne Axes, Karamjin, UIM style, but yeah, that was hard. And anyways, we're moving on to other things. We're going to be upgrading the account a lot in various directions. But the biggest upgrade for this video is going to be the Dark Bow. It should, in theory, be my strongest DPS spec weapon of all time, at least for range. And it's going to be overall the strongest, I think. So that's really exciting to get. I cannot wait to get that. Anyways, if you're enjoying the video, continue liking the video as always. Much appreciated. And consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out. There is a master task for the Inferno, completing 75. I think it's still doable with this build without Chins and Ancient Magics. I learned a lot this run, so... So next run, I'll be able to properly use the Rune Throne Axes. We can definitely do this at some point, but I'm gonna upgrade uh, my gear. Uh, definitely upgrade from a Rune Play Body, that's for sure. Oh, 1643, dude. We can almost beat the Master Time. Now, I think if I just Blowpipe Spam uh, one run, I, could, I, I think we could maybe do it, you know? Holy shit, sub 2 minute Dark Beast, oh my god. Okay, yeah, Blowpipe's uh, on fire. Damn, I think we fucked this one up. <laughs> oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, this one's not the run. Anyways, at least we figure out how many darts we use if we full spam. Dang, I used the, uh, looks like 15-ish darts for that one run, spamming it pretty much. Yo, it's about time I upgrade my range glove best of slot because I've been rocking the red D high vampires for a while, so it's time to make the black one. There we go. It was good while well, it lasted though, you know, a whole like two weeks almost. <laughs> Alright, we're uh, looking for a lot of upgrades tonight. First thing I want to get is dragon boots because those should be super easy to get. So getting some God Wars protection. And then uh, shortly after, we're gonna grab ourselves defenders. And then we're gonna nab a Debo. I wonder what happens if I prayer back up. Let's let's see if this works. Nice, cool. You get your prayer back. Oh, dragon boots! Yay, we got it. Hell yeah, new upgrade. Boom, one twenty one strength now, baby. That's a max hit. Finish this task. We're gonna get some hill giant tasks. Because apparently, Hell Giant Task works on Cyclops. Never knew that until today. Oh! Haha! <laughs> That's very nice, man. First kill ever. Instantly into uh, a defender, dude. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go grab myself a Dragon Battle Axe. Gonna do um, Shield of a Rav and Hero's Quest. I'm gonna buy a Dragon Battle Axe. And might as well buy a Dragon Mace. I don't know, might come in handy. Man, the EVA spec 20% use is so nice. I can actually like DDS a lot while using my DBA now. Alright, I just realized I should probably get my Bone Crusher now because I'm killing a lot of stuff that drops bones. Ah, okay, so I can't take damage. Oh, there we go, no damage. No, I didn't even say climb without taking damage. That's so weird. They need, they need to put that in there if that's actually the requirement. Alrighty. That's Diaries done for the hard. Alright, boys. Check out this prayer drop here. We're going to get Equilibrium and the bone. 300 XP for one big bone. I got 180 XP. More than what I would get from just one bone off of Equilibrium. Damn, I've already gone a, like 100 myth darts. Oh, I got another task done. 25 mil hit points. Oh, Giant Defender. Yes. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Ah. Ah, that's nice. We're going to be doing pretty well now. And that's not the end of our upgrades. We still have so much upgrading to do to make our TOB life a bit better. But that's coming up in the later days. All right. We're going to try the Sub-16 Master Challenge task to TOB once again with slightly better gear and more motivation. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. Blowpipe is so insane, especially when the boss's defense is massively lowered. In order to maximize my DPS with the Blowpipe, I can't be moving around because every time I move, that's one tick of damage that I lost. 
So when I do have to move, for example, at Sarpis, I need to quickly switch over to my crystal bow because there's enough of a delay with my crystal bow where I can walk around without losing any DPS. So yeah, every time it's about to look at me, I swap over a crystal bow and then I moved over, dodged the poison, and then blow pipe again. It's really hard to time, honestly. There it is, should be. Oof, let's go. Another task completed. Uh, this one is the master task. Let's go. Took like a few tries, because uh, we kept scuffing up Furzik. Alright, let's get assigned some... Where are they? Gargoyles. Okay. Alright, so for today, to start off, I'm going to go and get myself 90 Slayer. Because I'd rather go for the Dark Bolt through Slayer tasks. You know, to be a little efficient and whatnot. And superiors give really enhanced chance of Dark Bows, so worth it. I need two more levels. I think I'm going to hit up some Gargoyles. Uh, because Gargoyles can drop me the key so I can do Grotesque Guardians for some supplies as well and for a task, so yeah. We're gonna do that all the way to 90. It's probably hella crowded. Oh, I got it already! What the hell? Where is it? Oh, hell yeah! Wow, we can already do Grotesque Guardians. Holy shit. Ooh, Granite Maul! Yo! And this bad boy, a Granite Maul, dude. I have a very uh, special use for the Granite Maul in the uh, upcoming future and uh yeah it's gonna be really really fun i won't say too much on it yet but yeah just a quick demo i'm not really good at the gmall so let's just show you what's up <laughs> i couldn't even use the full thing because uh yeah the gmall just hits so hard basically with the gmall i become the tier 3 melee guy just for a very short period of time so from november 10 to december 15 jagex is giving seven days of free membership for those of you guys that have amazon prime i will put a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and activate that also if you wish to support my work further and you have amazon prime you can actually twitch prime via my twitch link in the description once a month and i actually get money for free and you don't have to pay anything now that we have more Lakes 3 it's a perfect time to actually go and try out some barrels again this is definitely the best time to do it. Get myself an, a better body and then head over to Grotesque Guardians and also string a bunch of different leak tasks for points. It's perfect, you know? Alright, this is gonna be interesting. I wanna see how kick-ass my Crystal Bell is gonna be at Barrows. Okay, it is very kick-ass. What even is defense? Alright, so we're gonna actually teleport out. We're gonna save the uh, Crystal Memories here. This is gonna be good. Because now we have the uh, legs from the Mauritania, so we can just actually teleport pretty damn close to Barrows. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot. I can just last recall now. No need to go to the tunnels. We're just going to last recall straight to the chest. And I have enough prayer to just uh, brute force this last boss because it's going to spawn no matter what since we're at the chest. So, yeah, this, this is actually insane. No need to run through the tunnels. Oh, there are legs. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Oh, back to back into a Carol's Coif. Whoa, I just hit a 42 with the MSB. That was awesome. Here we go. Oh, Arams. Okay, looks like uh, we don't really need the Mystic Top. Oh, we're going to complete Arams at this rate. Oh my god, Aram staffs, dude. Maybe we'll get full Arams before a tank body, man. Oh my god. Got the spear, dude. Holy shit. Oh, Dark's Great Axe. Okay. 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 Double chest. My turn? Bruh. Oh my god, my first tank body, and it's a Rex Brassard. Oh no. I was really hoping that, that wouldn't be the case. Because the Frax Brassar is not much better than a Rune Plate body. <laughs> At least we got an item on the last one, but... I guess I'm gonna rock some Frax Brassar for Grotesque Guardians, man. Let's freaking get it, dude. Alright guys, it's time to hit up some Grotesque Guardians. Pretty cool, dude. It's actually really fun to use this Blade of Saldor. A lot. I barely got to use it on my main account, so... So that's really cool. Uh, I haven't worn Phyrax in ages, so that's pretty cool too. We got 
Uh, range setup too. Damn, I can easily skip orbs. Like, holy shit, I am just so, I am just so consistent with my damage. It's actually nuts. I should be able to just skip orbs every time, even with a crystal bow. Might not even need my blowpipe. Nice, first kill. Oh, 139. This is fast. This is very fast. Oh, super combats. Can't make those quite yet, so uh, that's nice. We're gonna save those. Oh no. Oh, dude. Worst time to get frozen. Oh god. Oh, it's not even close, man. E even if I get frozen, it doesn't even matter. Because I kill the ranger so fast that it doesn't even matter, honestly. Oh, 90 Slayer already. Wow, that was fast. Hey, I can now kill Dark Beast. Was I wrong? Oh, there it is. Dragon Dart Tips. Oh, and I got- Oh, Granite Ring. Hey, we got ourselves new best in slot ring. This thing has defense. So if I need more defense, which I think I'd rather wear this right now for this boss. Hell yeah, I'll take it. I'll freaking take it, dude. Oh, hey, we just hit 99 strength. Yay. Loving this play of Souther still. I guess I'm going to train my attack now. Get that to 99 or something. Oh, 43-43? Wow, that was amazing. Whoa, where the hell? What the hell was that? That was so weird. That was freaking weird, dude. This guy just moonwalks. Alright, I finished the grotesque garden task. Unfortunately, no Termaline core, so I think I might come back for that if I need points later on. And loot's not that bad. I got 218 Dragon Darts, so that's really nice. I got two for every one kill, basically. Or close to that. And we got all the way to 94 Slayer, so that's way more than what I need for the Dark Beast. But yeah, it's time. It's time to get the Dark Beast task and get ourselves that Darbo. 100k Slayer XP? Jesus Christ, I just got 100k Slayer XP. <laughs> oh, hey, Death Talisman. I can finally do the Death Rune task. Hell yeah. So, I'm trying to be able to complete one of them. So, the more I juggle, the higher the chance that I can... Uh... Oh, shit! Dark Bow, let's go! Okay, well, we're just gonna have to juggle two clues, but yes! Boys, we got it. Let's go! We went a little bit dry for this bad boy, but... First thing I'm gonna do with this thing, go straight to TLB with it. Five specs of Darbo coming right up. If we get lucky, we might just finish it right now. Oh, never mind. No, no need to juggle that, huh? We actually got it. Wow, and I still have this extra clue. First hard clue, it's a task completion, guaranteed, so... Oh, okay, 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 what is that? Ooh, armadillo chaps though. That's pretty good Gaurus protection for uh, when I have to do some armadillo. Nice, dude. And also another task. Unique item. Oh, I have two of them. Yes, there it is. Okay, here we go. Yes, depot. Oh, the hits. Okay, that was bad. Okay. That was pretty nice. Damn, this is a PB. <laughs> nice. Okay, the Debo popped off all right. Oh, hey, 34 second PB. That was easy. On our first try of the blue phase. Lol. Let's talk about the Dark Bow and how is it going to tie in with all my other ranged weapons between like the Crystal Bow and the Blowpipe. So the Dark Bow is overall in the middle DPS range with the special attacks. And I'm only going to be using the Dark Bow for special attacks after, of course, testing it already quite a bit in the game and the reasons are pretty straightforward the dark bow dps with special attacks is higher than the crystal bow although being a little bit less accurate than a crystal bow because of the crystal armor making the crystal bow stupidly accurate but yeah the dark bow specs are usually more dps though than a crystal bow in pretty much almost every case now the blowpipe though is still theoretically the best dps out there even surpassing the debo specs However, the blowpipe has limitations, number one being a bit low accuracy, so you will miss quite a bit on uh, higher defense mobs like Verzik. 
So the crystal bow and the dark bow will still excel in those places. But yeah, in like things that have like very little defense, blowpipe will still reign supreme. And also blowpipe, of course, has dart limitations. You would have to physically go out of your way to get darts to use the blowpipe. Whereas the other two weapons, there's no time upkeep, so that's really nice. So overall, Debo, when I have the specs, definitely worth using. It's super nice. But this isn't even the true power of the range setup. There's more. And no, it's not Armadillo. There is another armor set that we'll have in the next episode that will truly amp up the DPS on this range setup to the next level. So on the first phase of first egg, I forgot that range only does 1 damage and melees can hit up to 10 so it's still better for me to start using my blade of Saldor on first phase if I don't have the staff respects. I haven't had to repair the armor yet but I think it's about time we start thinking about it so what do I do? Do I just add it? I can basically fully charge this because it's 2500 charges so alright that's not too bad to upkeep actually. I've only used about uh, close to 1600 charges each piece in the past like 10 days or so 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 now that the inferno grind's over I'm going to be doing a bit more variety of content so you're gonna see me revisit some bosses I didn't finish before for either like points for dragon rank or for items for example like sword Helm for TOB so yeah there'll be a lot of that and I'm gonna be upkeeping my dailies a bit uh, farm runs, they go really well with the hourly birdhouse runs. I'm gonna try to do that uh, often because getting 99 farming and hunter should be pretty easy comboing it together. So yeah, farming is actually really nice now. Uh, with Arscania, I get a spare tree. So I can do two spare trees, two fruit trees, two regular trees, and of course fossil island trees as well. And a cow quad. And yeah, man, it should be really easy to get those these two levels so we should eventually get those 99s i don't know about these other skills but uh, some of the afk ones though fishing and we can probably get those two to 99 all right okay great third option there we go bought ourselves a cicada because now we can do some crazy farming we unlocked a bunch of patches uh there's a herb patch here there's also a herb patch at the uh, gnome stronghold here and one in the Ecto area, Brain Death Island at some point that I can do once I finish the Elite Diaries in the future. So yeah, this is nice. We have a lot of patches. Now that I have unlocked Arscania, I can actually buy a harpoon so I can fish some sharks and some swordfish, which are tasks. But yeah, these are uh, fairly good AFK though. The long road to Dragon Rank this time is actually uh, quite challenging. So much more people competing, you know, this time than last league. Oh shit, first easy clue completion. Oh man. Once I unlock Arscania, yo, these clues are easy peasy. Man, that's a feels bad. Oh, that was so easy. Easiest easy clue ever. Here we go. Unique. Yes! Nice, we got a unique item. Hell yeah, that's another task done. Staff of the Bobcat. Never gone this before in my life. Alright, we managed to get 76 tiers. Ah. It would be nice to get 100 tiers for one of the task for diary but yeah people are saying 150 quest points though to extend the game long enough to uh, have a shot yeah we definitely don't have enough time 118 is too short thank you guys for watching today's video if you found this video to be enjoyable consider giving a like we also have a friends chat feel free to join that if you want to hang out and also consider subscribing and ring the bell that way you will get all video notifications and if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.